We are playing The Forge of Fury from Tales of the Awning Portal with DM Brendan. Take it away, Brendan! Hello, and welcome to Forge of Fury. Uh, after the defeat of the evil druid Belak in the depths of the Sunless Citadel, the party returned to Carowin Hukriel. Carowin, who, set, who, though saddened by the loss of her children, was grateful to the group for recovering the heirlooms. She offered to send the party to a friend of hers, Baron Althon, who was a noble in the town of Blazingdale, which lies north of Mirabar the spine of the world. Party is now trekked to Blazingdale to meet with the Baron. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, uh, my name is Lorne. I will be playing Rolan, the Wood Elf Kensai Monk. Hi, everyone. I'm Tara. I will be playing Elga Serpent's Bane, Human Barbarian. Oh, sorry, it's me. Uh, hello, everybody. My name's Chris. Um, I'm playing uh, Thorian, the uh, Elven Blade Singer. And uh, as an aside, I know last time I uh, said I was uh, running out of uh, appropriately named theme beers. I lied. Tonight I'm drinking Cheeky Bastard Stout by Nickel Brook, Brook uh, Brewing Company. Repost. <laughs> really? Not a repost. Awesome. I'm Stephanie, and I'll be playing Camilla Von Daniken, Paladin of Vengeance. And then uh, Nabil here, and I'll be playing, yes, Serena, a humble job bard who's going, paying her way through the College of Whispers. And I'm Ian. I'll be playing Flocklin, the wild magic sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, Tara just, like, skipped Ian. Just yeah, I know. I just decided to wait to the end. Just ran right over. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, to be no, fair, Flocklin right. is pretty small. Elga does not apologize. She's a freaking barbarian. <laughs> Ian was too damn slow. Oh, Elga it's apologizes. True. You know I where was. she apologizes. I'm she sorry. feels bad Flocklin now. Was too damn slow. I'm yeah. sorry. All right. So you guys are in the village of Blazingdal, which lies 30 miles south of the Stone Tooth's Jagged Peak. Um, so the town's small, about 2,000 people, mostly human. And you guys have been invited by a man named Baron Alphon uh, to his manor. Okay, so this is Blazing Dell, and we're being invited by Baron Alphon. Did we go I through got... a very convenient stopping point uh, you did called not. the Red you're Larch? The one, like, little area, like, you're the one segment of, of Farron where it would not make sense to cut through Red Larch, unfortunately. You didn't try hard enough. You would have had to go south uh, all the way south to like Waterdeep, and then go north again. When you could have just gone north. Our magic mirrors show the map in that direction as road close, construction, and maroon red. We'll take the green road down. Uh, do we really need to go to Red Larch, though? It's a silly place. Oh, yeah, but okay. there's that um excellent restaurant run by oh what was his name Sears. Oh, all right, mm, restaurant. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys are, you guys, um, walk to his, uh, his manor, and you're led in by a servant. And, uh, he comes in to meet you in the, in the parlor. Hello there! You must be the adventurers Carowin told me about. Come, come, sit down. Yes, we are. Thank you. Now... I'm told you're you're all quite skilled at what you do. Now, is this is this as true as she says? Absolutely, sir. I am. We are the finest quality uh, bounty hunters. Oh, jeez. Oh. I mean, adventurers. just look at us. Even yeah. that one. And he points at Flocklin. <laughs> I'll step behind Thorian. <laughs> well, it's always very important to have a magic user um, in every adventuring group. Uh, don't Thorian worry. Thorian clears we... his throat loudly. And along, and that's why we have two. Thank you. Well, I shall trust her judgment, and I have a, uh, a rather sensitive task that I wish for you to accomplish. Oh, what is it? Northeast of here, 
I've received word there is a stronghold, long since abandoned by its creators, a group of dwarves, and overrun by orcs. Allegedly, the blades of a great smith, Dugedin, are hidden there. I need some time to get together a proper expedition to thoroughly search the place, but I would very much be interested in someone going in, clearing out these orcs, and mapping it out for me. At least rough sketches, you know. Hmm, sounds, sounds risky. What's our, uh, uh, I, I hate to, uh, uh, go straight to the payment part, but, uh, uh what's our company? What? Sorry, young man. <laughs> Be 20 gold each for information. 100 gold for the group if you bring back detailed maps. When you yes. say detailed, how much detail are you asking for? Be reasonable. I'm not asking for a picture or a, a painting of every stone, but the general layout. Hmm. Alga will leave map making to the little peoples. She will help with the orcs. Um, is that all you want? A um survey? Nothing else? Well, in performing the survey, you will presumably have to clear out the orcs. They don't take kindly to visitors, you know. Well, absolutely, that's understood, but any other objectives? Or bathing. No, that's, that's really all I need. Like I said, I will be coming back with a more thorough expedition once it's safe and I've had time to organize everything. Inside check. Okay, roll inside. Uh, you believe him to be telling the truth. You seem like a very honest person. Now, be along with you. This town can provide anything you need, I'm sure, on your journey. So, supply, get your supplies, and get caught, get going. I will await your return with bated breath. Thank you, you, sir. Uh, yes, you, you, you stay here and uh, uh, bait, as it were, and uh, we'll be off then. I give you a look. What? You know what you did. So this town of uh, Blazing Dell, can we uh, purchase sort of whatever here? Yeah. Like, was no, okay. no, normal Dell. items? Yeah. Blazing oh, okay. Dell, Blazing Dell. They don't have a pronunciation thing, so however you want to pronounce it. Blasingdale. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not sure how to spell that, so how much of a nightlife does it have? If it has a good one, then it's Blazingdale. If it has a shit one, then it's Blasingdale. Boo. It will have a nightlife. Just get Elga to a tavern. Blazadale. It will be Blazingdale when Elga's done with it. Oh boy, get the uh, barbarian hood drinks. Um, Flock will do, uh, have an pick up called, a water bucket. Called Griffin's Nest Inn and Tavern. It's run by a uh, half-elf woman by the name of Sorel. Ah, excellent. A, uh, a somewhat uh, welcome face for myself. Uh, I'll take your finest elven wine if you have it then. Ale for me, please. And because it is a half-elf, she does indeed have some elven wine for Thorian. Ah, excellent. I shall sample the local vintage then. That'll be 500 gold. <coughs> uh, I will sample the local vintage some other time. Um, 500 gold. It's for high elves. Uh, yeah, uh, even high elves were... sort of drink this normally, not like spend entire family fortunes on a glass. Almost as if they can be kind of um, possessive of their, uh, of their 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 arts and crafts and xenophobic and don't let Asshole. any regular people have their have their wine. So oh, it comes please. with a high price. 
just because I'm uh, I'm I'm currently on uh, fall, falling on hard times doesn't mean that uh, uh, I shan't be back one day. Elga slaps ten gold on the table. Drink, lots of it. All right, and that's plenty. And she gives uh everybody a glass of pretty good ale. Mm, good. It comes in pints. Oh, you there? Get away from the. Are you a child? What? No, he is little half man. Uh, good magic user. I am not. I pat him on the head. No. Uh, he drinks like a child, so uh, surely temple for him. A uh, who? Sorry, a uh, uh, a Sherlon Templus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, anything else you guys want to do in town? Well, is it blazing or is it blazing? Yes. Well, we'll ask the, uh... uh excuse me, miss. Is this place Blazingdale or Blazingdale? Oh, of, of late it's been rather Blazingdale. Ah! Um, I would like to... Uh, pick up a uh, replacement uh, couple of bottles of Alchemist Fire, if I could. Uh, you are more than welcome to do that. Excellent. I will spend... I will glad. I don't have 500 gold, but I do have 100 gold to spend on some Alchemist Fire. So, I'll buy two bottles. Alright, that'll be... Uh, yeah, that'll be 100 gold. Yes. Um... Just trying to see what else I uh, what else I need ball bearings or caltrops or whatever, um, you know, hilarious party favors. I think that's uh, I think that's it for me. Anybody else going to buy anything? Um... Drink food to go with it because she's pretty sure <laughs> she's going to need it. Yeah, food, drink, um, like a nice bath. For tonight, and um, let's I'm see. buying two potions of healing. Yeah, I'm gonna buy like. I'll buy fifty. Um, I'm gonna How buy. Much is this? So I can only afford four. Uh, so, po point of order: Do we know where this dwarven stronghold is and what its name is? Uh, you do. You guys know vaguely where it is. It's uh, just sort of uh, like northeast of town. Um, you know it's called Kundrakar. K h u n d r u k a r. I'll put it in the chat. Um. So, how much is a mastiff or a riding dog? I'll tell you in a second. A mastiff is twenty-five gold. And I can use that as a mount as a riding dog. You can. Uh, the first time you are hit by an AoE, it will die. Aww. I'm just warning you in advance. They don't have very much health. We're going to be sad when that happens. Okay, I'll take the gold off. Okay, right. uh, sure so we're going to take log three sheet. potions of healing. It's, that's going to be like 50 gold a vial, right? Potions of healing are 50 gold each, yes. Okay, so I put 150 gold down. So three potions. And how much? Oh, wait. I can look it up myself. Sorry. So Flocklin will go out while everyone's drinking. And, you know, he's walked around town. And he'll find a, uh, uh, not looking for a stray dog, but come across a stray dog. And there's a heartwarming scene where the dog learns to trust uh, Flocklin. Oh, you're just the littlest hobo, aren't you? No. That's what I'll call you. Hobo. Let's go. And I come back with the dog. Come around again. Elga is also your best... Elga is your best friend now, too, because of the dog. Oh, my God, puppy! Uh, by the His way... His name is Hobo. The puppy is larger than, uh, Flocklin by a good measure. Oh, it's like I was walking down, probably walking down a uh, an alleyway or now. something, and doesn't know he's getting like he's about to get eaten by the dog, but he just walks up and pets it, and it flips a switch in its brain or something. 
And can everyone put their passive perceptions in their name? Sorry, I forgot to mention that last time. Like yeah. last uh, in our oh, names. Um, yeah. All right. Just just do what Lord did in the AC and your passive. Giggity. Where do we change that again? Under uh, the gear panel. Do you want the AC in there too? Yeah, AC and per passive perception. Okay. Dirk Geddon was a master smith who forged blades of surpassing quality and power. Centuries ago, his home was sacked by orcs. Dirk Geddon led the remnants of his clan to the mountains north of the town of Blazingdale and established a small secret stronghold somewhere in the uh, trackless wilderness. From his hidden redoubt, he waged a decades-long vendetta against all of orc kind until his enemies discovered his fortress and attacked it after a long siege. Durgeddon and his followers perished and much wealth was carried away by the conquering hordes. But it's said that the deepest and best hidden vaults and armories escaped the looting and that some of Durgeddon's extraordinary blades still wait in the darkness for a hand bold enough to claim one. You've come to Blazingdell. Uh, I've already read that. You got to, we're past that. Uh, so, as you travel north from the mining town of Blazingdell, you pass through brooding pine forests and deep vales. From where you stand now, you catch the sight of a trail, or of a tall, steep hill that raises to a prominent bare knob of rock. The Stone Tooth. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Ian. Lightning will strike your character. Oh, jeez. fire of smoke rises from some unseen point high on the hill slopes, and you can make out a steep, narrow road or track that runs back and forth across the face of the mountain. So you guys are now on this map. Oh, you can't. You can't strike with lightning. I just realized why. I why? named my dog after a uh, beloved Canadian children's dog, and if you kill him, you're going to piss off like half the people you're playing with. You named him Clifford? No, <laughs> He's the littlest hobo. Well, maybe oh, tomorrow just... he'll settle down. But uh, until Lord. tomorrow, he'll just keep moving on with us. Until tomorrow, he's crispy. Oh, don't worry. Someday he'll keep on moving on. <laughs> now, come on, gentlemen and ladies. Let us summit this bare knob. <laughs> uh, are we supposed to be seeing a black page? Uh, no. Okay, good. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, it's censored because it's a bare knob. It says oh, global good. Oh, why is dynamic lighting enabled here? Dynamic lighting does not need to be enabled. <laughs> Hide your knob. So oh, wait, man, do we not know. have vision on those tokens? Well, your tokens aren't on this map. Oh, Are okay. there a couple of foothills? Big pair of foothills right near the base? Right by the knob? There are, uh, there are foothills... Spaced, oh, go, go there are four on. foothills spaced equidistant around the periphery Excellent. of the knob. <laughs> I that makes right. no sense. Uh, where okay. where are we in on this map in relation to the uh, uh, the sort of the, the the hill here? Uh, you like guys what? are down here. I'll, uh, we're just going to use uh, Mr. Mittens as a token. Hooray! Nobody said anything about volcanoes. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, I knew he. Ah, uh, you know what? He was up to something. Who, Mr. Mittens? No, Mr. Mittens is amazing. He oh, my took dear. my fish. Well, he knew he was hungry. Is it possible to separate myself from the group and stealth through the uh, side brush? Uh, you may. You believe yourself to be sufficiently stealthy. Uh, so you you head off on your own. Uh, are you guys waiting for him? Doing this. Yeah, are you guys waiting for him, though? No, I'm, I'm moving literally, like, you know, 10, 15 oh, okay. feet off the main path and moving through the forest so I have cover. I thought you were going to scout on your own. Uh, well, I'll, I'll move off maybe 20, what do you guys want 30 to do? feet away from them. I'm going to pull out my wand of entangling. And be ready for anything that uh, comes at us. Oh, sorry, I was just playing background music. Yeah, I'm just gonna ready my axe in case anything comes for us. 
Yeah, just following the path. Mm-hmm. Thorian's just going to walk right down the middle of the path, just unconcerned. Uh, Thorian, you might want to. Uh, uh, no, mm-hmm. just never mind. Let 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 the fancy elf man go. He will learn or he will die. One of the, either way, it is good. Mm-hmm. It is quite. It's a lovely thing for a stroll. Quite pragmatic of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fist bump. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you guys continue along the path. Uh, it climbs higher and higher uh, into the mountain. Anytime a big bug comes near me, I'll use Gust to uh, blow it away. Ah, get away! Gross! Unfortunately, Gust cannot trigger a magic wa- a wild magic surge. I'm it very can't. disappointed. No. I know. He's going to keep doing Gust until something explodes. I could do Gust without a spell sometimes, but it comes out the back. Uh, as I as I sort of look up this uh, uh, this mountain here, do I... Uh, so, so first of all, the the path that we're walking is it very well tended? Is it like just sort of a, an abandoned path that we can only just kind of see through the overgrowth? Um, it is a path that was once uh, very well hidden, but time has worn away uh, some of the things that were used as camouflage, uh, and now it's relatively visible. It was at one point well made, as well. There are stairs that are finely crafted out of stone. Mm, yes, uh, one of the few things good dwarves are good for. Um, okay. Um, so, I, I don't see... Uh, like, uh, we're looking up the hill. I just see hills at this point, right? Indeed. Okay. Um, uh, you know, as, I, as, as I'm walking, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Mittens is, is kind of kind of slung in a in a bag uh, just just kind of hanging out uh uh on off my hip and uh, uh as as we sort of walk up the hill uh i'm going to uh just sort of release mr bittens and have him run ahead and uh sort of take you know take a little look see see what's ahead on the path are you guys continuing to move forward while he does this or are you letting uh, mr bittens move forward on his own uh, I'm let's... About 20 feet ahead of the group yeah you know just just Some a little bit uh, yeah, I will be following, but, um, let me do, is it a perception check to just check and make sure everything's fine? What are you trying to check? To see if anyone's following us, if there's an ambush, etc., etc. Let me survival check. I'm good with that! That's a stealth check. Oh, okay, <laughs> Ha! Way to flip those numbers. <laughs> yeah! Okay. You can't do that you in a physical notice. tabletop game. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, you notice... Four booted humanoids came down the path within the last day. All right. Anything else? No. I will let everyone know. Okay. Uh, so Mr. Mittens runs out, does very, very good on his stealth, and just kind of not so good on his perception. So he comes back with a little mouse in his in his mouth, but that's it. Uh, okay. So yeah. Um, we now know to look out for some booted humanoids. They were fa- the the boot prints. By the way, went out. They went. They went like that way along. No, uh, they went the other way. Okay. Do I notice any signs of pending ambush? Uh, roll me perception. You notice no uh, signs of ambush at this point. As I would like to further. I would like to continue to be stealthy and perceptive. For signs of potential hostilities. All right, okay. you guys uh, follow the path a little bit further. Yeah, and at this point, um, Thorian is uh, is is going to yeah. basically start making stealth checks here. He's trying to sneak. Are you guys staying on the path? 
Well, Thorian's starting to sneak. I will sneak as well. Um, but we we're not we're pretty much staying on the path, but we're trying to, you know just like keep quiet and not be so conspicuous. Do I do the stealth check or the dog? So we're not singing okay. tavern songs. No, what? not for now. Yeah, I'll get I'm sticking to the forest. <laughs> Are you guys all sticking to the forest? Or you, uh... well, I, I'm sticking literally in in that you know, ten to fifteen foot edge to the side of the pathway. That's where I'm sticking to and moving as stealthily as possible. Uh, I will do it with him as well, and I'll be like, Elga, Elga, it's okay. Just we'll sing the tavern songs later. We have to survive so we can so we can get to the cool final battle where people will you know write tavern songs about us. Ooh, Elga likes that. Yes. Okay, I'll go be quiet. Okay, now you say that. I strummed a little bit hard there. <laughs> you sing along to the Traveler song. Alright. Uh, Ian, will you make me a stealth check for the dog? I don't have the stats for the dog. You should have the stats for the dog. It's called Hobo. Oh, I see it now. Tell me a dex check. Not woo-woo. Maybe this one will survive. Who's Woo Woo? The one from our our horde. The, the one that was a doppelganger. Queen. Yeah, the oh, one. That oh, one. God, I forgot about that one. <laughs> and Woo Woo uh... is a proper dog's name. Okay, uh, you guys no believe you as a group are sufficiently stealthy. Uh, you advance further along the path. The trail. Uh, Ahead of you guys on the trail, you see the path uh, it climbs up one last steep switchback towards a bare shoulder of rock. The hillside rises steeply on your right and drops away precipitously to your, on your left. Debris and rubbish lie scattered over the last hundred years or so. Or a hundred yards or so, not hundred years. I was about ready to say, yeah. Discarded water skins, bits of charred bone, and splintered casks or kegs. Up ahead, the path opens onto a wide ledge and then doubles back sharply onto the mountainside. Two bestial humanoids in hide armor stand watch on the ledge. They appear inattentive and bored. I'll go kill. And that is what the, uh, the cat saw as it first rounded the corner. Ah. So I don't see this uh, yet. Yeah, so, so... Put them out of their misery. So let me put the, I... uh, everybody's tokens down. It's all black. Yeah, give me a second. Let me put tokens down. I give Mr. Mittens a, a little scratch. I'll t give him a little bit of temptations. Uh, I guess you start here? Yeah, that's where, you, that's where you had to start. I do have ideas. Oh, there was a green glow. I, yeah, oh, I see fine. a green glow something. Let me say, I'm, I'm dropping tokens. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Lord. Gotta love them token droppings. Is it the middle of the night? <laughs> hey, I can still see if it's the middle of the night. And so can you! Yeah, it's just so a bit So can everyone dark. except Elga and Flocklip. Um, however, I believe it is dark. Okay, it is the middle of the night, then. Alright. Yeah, it is dark. Do I still have that light candle thing affixed to my helmet? Uh, you do. Yay! I we're attempting to stealth, so you've put it out. Yes. Point being, I have it! I have light! Covered it, I guess, would be more accurate, because it does burn forever. I can't okay. see. You you guys, you're a you halfling a without dark vision. vision. And you guys are attempting to be stealthy. But I can't see. Uh, uh, are you guys going to light a torch so the human and halfling can see? Uh, oh, uh, oh, wait. Uh, I have, uh, what do you call the balls? Dancing dark. lights. Oh, why don't we just get... Okay, here. Here. Hold on to the rope. Tie the rope to my belt. And then we're we're gonna stealth together. You just gotta trust me and Thorian and uh Oh no. And Serena, okay? 
You just gotta trust us. And Roland, you just gotta trust us. Uh, in theory, you could just tie it like a leash onto the dog. Ooh. That would be easier. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I don't. I hope I he's don't. He's not a dog. He's a halfling. No, no, no. The halfling is riding the dog. <laughs> I know. So I know. if you leave the dog, then in theory, the halfling comes along for the ride. What are you guys going to do? Uh, you you are aware of two humanoids wearing hide armor well ahead of you. Is this How are we aware of them? Uh, the cat saw them. them. The cat saw them? Cat saw Serena them. can see them as well. Uh, yeah, because uh, Serena has better dark vision than even Thorian would. Uh, is this the sort of thing that would be useful to spend a second level spell on? Do you think? I don't know. I'm sort of asking the party for suggestions because I can make this go away in one in in, in one spell. Uh, Just a clear, second level spell. You know, I, what do oh, you yes. want to make go away? I just want to confirm that. Well, I mean, they're up on a, on a big ledge, right? They are. Yeah. Like but I think ahead. we're on the same ledge. They're not like higher than us. They don't have the high ground. Uh, well, that's nobody what I'm asking. All right. No, nobody said anything about the high ground. Is what I was saying. Oh, there will be uh, no prequel meaning here. No, wait, no, 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 wait. I'm, uh, I'm not... high ground. It's uh, never mind. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was just wondering if they're on the same level as us or if they're above us. Is there much sand uh, they're around? Sort of, they're above you, but not like way above you on a ledge. The, the path sort of naturally goes up that way. It. The switchback path, so it's been going left and right as it climbs a mountain. Okay, okay. so they're like so on, they're the, on the crest of a hill. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to suggest that we uh, uh, we sneak up a bit closer so that we can possibly line up shots on them. Who is approaching yeah. them? I will um, do so stealthily. Serena uh, will also do it in mind stealthily. for traps. I'll get I mean, just Camilla to lead her. Yeah. I've got my crossbow bolt ready. In stealth. I guess I'm getting pulled along. Alright, everyone who's going is going to advance, roll me a stealth check. Yep, we're stealthing, baby. Serena's rocking it. Yeah, I, I guess I'm being pulled along too. What? Go throw him. <laughs> Okay, you guys managed to just barely sort of creep along the path, getting closer and closer to these hooded figures, which you now recognize as orcs. So how much closer? Uh, I mean, how close are you guys willing to get? Well, I want to at least get sight on them, so I will first move here. I don't see them yet. Wait, I see them. I They're still don't them. see them. You already saw them, the bill. You can see them from where you started. No, it's much clearer. Before then, it was a little bit too dark for me. Yeah, it is very dark on this map. Oh, whoops. Incredibly dark, actually. Yeah, every, almost all of this map is dark. And, uh, is that them there? Yeah, that's them right there. One, one yeah. over okay. here and the other one over and now That's they disappear. Better. Although, uh, yeah. Thorian says to Flocklin, come, come of, here. I can't make out any of my ally tokens anymore. Yeah, I see nothing except Elga's token. Uh, I hear someone calling me. Where are you? you? I see a very thin outline of Thorian here and Serena here. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking back. I see, uh, I see the outlines of everybody's tokens, but they're very, very faint. Uh, I turned, uh, uh, I turned on the uh, advanced fog of war. So right. you, guys, you guys can see more than just what your characters can see at the moment. All right, uh, I'm going to suggest, like, I'm going to lead Flocklin along, and so you, you, you know, go here. You'll be standing in front of me. All right, does anybody speak Orcish? I might. One sec. Does anybody mm. close speak Orcish? So uh, no, no um, one. You speak Orcish. No, no, I do not. <laughs> Uh, where did Flocklin go? Because I don't think he. I, I think he's he on sort top of, of me. Access. 
Oh, okay. Ow! Ow! Alright, good, good. Um, what did my face I do hit? not speak Orcish. I speak common, giant, and uh, draconic. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I still can't speak common and under common. Yep. Nobody understands what we're talking about. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I still can't see him. Crap, I speak goblin. Am I able to suss out what... No. They, uh, what they say? Shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, you don't have... They're not within 60 feet of you. You, you really can't see him. Like, you're not close enough. All right, uh, okay. I'm, gonna I'm not go... even getting 60 feet of vision unless there's a wall right behind them. There I is. I can't see them either. Okay. There is absolutely a wall right behind them. All right, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it would make sense that 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 you. They basically yeah, have got their back. Like, literally, the the range of light on my character extends exactly one square diagonal from their tokens. Yeah, there's a wall right beyond them, right okay. there that you can cool. see. That is on. Like I, I see it when I look at your vision. And yet, for some reason, it's not. It doesn't work. There's a black line. Anyway, what are you guys doing? Um, can I use like an intelligence check or something to? Because I do speak goblin. You don't. <laughs> you can't understand. It works. I know. I was hoping the languages. No. I hope. I was hoping it'd be no. more like French and Spanish. You know, you can kind of suss nah, out. Nah, you don't know what they're talking about. No, it's like Korean and. Ja it's English. like Korean and, uh, you know, English. English. French. They do not have any similarities whatsoever. They both uh, use Dwarvish uh, writing style. Both use the Dwarvish uh, alphabet. Anyway. Or the Dwarvish alphabet. Okay. Well, what is your plan, guys? All There's right, two I, orcs ahead of you on the path. So Where? Roland is going to... Where do I have a crossbow bolt ready? Roland is going to point at both Thorian and Serena... Mm -hmm. Do the, the, the miming of a quiet, the, the finger over the mouth. Mm -hmm. Point to the one on the right from our vantage point. Mm -hmm. We'll then point at himself and point to the one on the left. Okay. Uh, Thorian will draw a short bow. All right. I'd like you guys to roll for initiative. You can do that for us. I can. I forgot about that. That's why I reminded you. Oh god, where am I? I'm gone. I can't see. Yay. Um eh, not great, but okay. Am I sufficiently stealthy? You believe yourselves to be sufficiently stealthy. Oh Serena, that's a shite roll. Alright. I will come up here. I will try my brand new sword on this guy on the left. That will miss. I will spend a key point. Punch. Kick him in the groin. The oh. second one does hit. And he grunts out in pain. Urgh. Uh, this guy is surprised. Flocklin, you can't see. Can I hear where that lights yet? Can I hear where that grunt came from? Vaguely. Oh Lord! And I'll fire off a uh a firebolt. All right, give me a perception check to make sure you know where you're. Like, you've got a good idea of where it came from, and you will make it at disadvantage. What? You have no idea quite what direction it came from. Still firing it off. What? Okay, roll me an attack roll at disadvantage. I, I, I'm sorry, Steph, I can't help it. It's it's just how Flocklin is. Well, the great thing is he'll know if he misses, because it's a ball of fire. You miss. Oh, oh yeah. What the fire? So the whole whole area flares up. Could I at least get a... Could I see the area <laughs> for a second, at least? Same. Uh... For a brief moment, you see three figures in the distance, uh, highlighted by a, a burst of flame, and then nothing. 
<sighs> there One was has clever his plan shin again. embedded in the groin of an orc. Yep. Thorian Silverleaf. Uh, okay. Your shin or your shin? My shin. Oh, good. <laughs> As in, uh, I went to kick it and struck. Uh, okay. Well, um, I'm going to uh, point to the one on the right as uh, uh, as as Ro Ro Rolon. Sorry, uh, Rolon. Uh, Rolon said, and oh, wait, wait, I'm wait, going wait. to short bow him. Uh, I doubt eleven does it. it. Yeah, nah, eleven does not do it. And Thorin goes, uh, "Oh shit! Uh, mm. I All don't right. have any." Yeah, bonus actions or anything. So go. So, quick question: Was Alga yes. intentionally left behind? Oh, Alga's way behind. Yes, give me a second. Uh, let me add her to the initiative. However, she still cannot see. I can't she see. I just we gave her the rope. Remember, there's yes, a rope. But you guys. Yes, nobody so pulled. You guys, no one pulled my token along. Nobody can pull your token along. Oh yeah, we can't pull your token along. I assumed you were just going to even... move up. I ask if we can assume that she logically moved up with the group provided yeah, she moved that with she. You guys. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I don't even know what direction to move to, so... Uh, I will move your token, don't worry. You guys, oh, you you guys ah. kind of have a disadvantage in that two of your party members cannot see in the dark. So shouldn't I... Well, yeah. I you can't? Gonna, yeah. You, yeah, you're humans. I was just, like, ready my action anyway, so... All right, Camilla. Well, you can always uncover your light. Okay, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to grumble under my breath about clever plans and how everyone seems to ruin them. And, oh, I will give... Oh, crap. Oh, here you go, Thorian. Take care of them. I give the rope to Thorian. Uh, okay, what's the rope for? To drag Franklin and Elsa along. It's still dark in here. 5, 10, All right. 15, 20, 25... Or, wait. Alright, so I've gone about, uh, good. I will stay behind Roland and then enter in the fray next round. Okay. Um, yeah, and that'll be my turn. Serena. Uh, the one on the right, I'm gonna let loose my crossbow bolt. Sorry, my tanker sheet is frozen. Okay, here we go. Uh, shot coming up. That will miss. This work is surprised. Yeah. And it is the top of the initiative. Uh, um, I... Yeah, I'm going to uncover my light. Okay, you can see now. You have, I believe, 20 feet? Is it 10 and 10? Someone look up candle for me. Uh, does, right. does um, um, continual flame do candle strength? Is it continual flame? I thought it was continual flame. Who cast continual flame? Did you do it? No, it, it's an item that you find in the dungeon. No, oh. I fixed it to my helmet so I had sight. Yeah, there's a candle in uh, in right, uh, Zelda, for, it was forever. Just a candle. Then uh, sheds bright light five foot, dim light for an additional five foot. Uh, it is well, useless. <laughs> yeah. Uh, continual flame is the, about the strength of a torch, but I no, don't know what it's, this I, is. Ever. It looks like regular flame. Yeah, I, I don't know what this candle does. It, it would be candle strength. So it's okay. as strong as a candle. Because it is a candle. And I uh, point to Elga, and I say, uh, that way. Okay. Thirty, yeah. So I'm going to dash, 35. Right. You hear the sound. There. All right. That's all I can do. Right, roll on. It is your turn. All right. 
So this one that I uh, managed to kick in the groin, I am going to swing with a backhand of the sword. There we go. That is a hit. That is a solid hit. Your sword plunges into his chest. Uh, and he goes down. Is your and short is your sword named Shater Spike? Should be two T's. Okay, sorry. I will adjust that as soon as I do a backwards roundhouse kick. This one's ready. He lifts his shield, catches it in uh, midair. And it is his turn, and he is going to do one thing. Intruders! Oh, god damn it. Well, oh, oh, I should you would been... assume that's what he says. Uh, he says it in Orcish. Uh, he, he takes a disengage big and loud. <laughs> takes a disengage action and runs. All right, and now... Son of a bitch. I can run him down. So can right. I. Flocklin. Uh, that direction, Flocklin. Flocklin, uh, yeah, Flocklin, you no longer have line of sight on anybody. You see in the distance... Uh, Elga's uh, one little beacon of light, and that's all you see. Which is really a bad thing if they're going to bring in archers. You say it's a bad thing. Somebody I... could light a torch at this point, I'm going to point out. I can light up dancing lights? Dancing lights are like five feet of light each. Oh. They're really useless. Well, they're, they're really useless unless you want to light up only a very small area or potentially send them away from you. Actually, uh, each light actually each light is 10 foot radius. So four of them. Right, it's 10 feet one. of dim light. It's bad. It's real bad. It's not particularly helpful when you're trying to navigate a dungeon. I can combine them to make one. And there's still 10 feet of dim light. Is it 10 or is it 20? I'm getting... No, wait, hold on. I, I read that. Anyway, Flocklin. Uh, it is dark. What do you do? You see one point ahead of you. Uh, Flocklin? Ian. Ian? Oh, Ian, um... Oh, uh, uh, skip Ian for now. Um, right. Long story short, we have our friends staying for, uh, for uh, with us because they're... Uh, I don't know what to do. Can I see anybody? No. Uh, tell okay, uh, he wants to move up and fire off at uh, the first baddie. Okay, so you can't wait, see anybody. He, he wants to attack the darkness? No, he wants to attack that orc. You can't see the orc. <laughs> then why don't you cast magic missile? All right, he runs forward. Uh, can't see anybody hold his action to attack the first person he sees. Okay. Uh, is abruptly what I got from that is yeah. all I can really do. Yeah, that's fine. I can actually move another 10 feet, but he still can't see anybody. Uh, yes. Thorian. Sorry. Uh, all right. Thorian's going to go uh, 10, 20, 30. Um, uh, I see an orc right here. Do I see that orc? You do see that orc. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um. And if I go into Blade Song now, I'll have an additional 10 feet. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, what I am instead going to do is I'm going to provide some momentary light and uh, cast Burning Hands. Okay. Oh, wouldn't that trigger Flocklin? Because he yeah, would Flocklin see. Yeah, can make an attack. All right, you can make an attack. Why does this say intelligence? Oh, one sec. Oh. I'm just sitting down. Uh, let's see. So DC 13. So yeah, roll me, make me an attack roll. You see briefly, for a couple of uh, of brief moments, the uh, an orc lit up in flames as uh, Thorian casts a burning hands at him. Now, I know that's not an intelligence save. That's probably a miss. Uh, that is Dex a miss, but he does really? fail his deck save. 
this seems to me like this sort of thing I'm going to have to fix. That's fine. Everyone knows burning hands is not an intelligent save. Camilla. Yeah. Well, I can see this guy, and I'm going to destroy him. Because Camilla's uh, very angry. Doing a uh, quick uh, test here. Okay, that's good. All right. Yep. So what does Camilla do? She's going to run up and stab the fucker. Okay, give me an attack roll. Ian, when you get He's not chance, there. He's not here right this sorry, second. Sorry, Brendan. When you get a chance, can you change the dynamic lighting view distance to 60? It is 60. That's not going to really? hit. You can see 60 feet away from you. Not not the vision, the not, but the dynamic light reveal. Because that might yeah. get rid of the ghost tokens. Because I didn't realize that the, the orc was right there. I knew he only moved 30 feet, but it made it look like he ran way off into the distance. That's the end of my turn. Uh, I don't think I can do anything about that without getting rid of the uh... the uh, advanced dynamic lighting or the advanced uh, advanced uh... what you call it? Yeah. Uh, fog of war. That's what it is. It's weird. Uh, that'll miss the rapier. Okay, Serena. You've seen this orc run past uh, the corner. Uh, you no longer have line of sight at it, but you see uh, people attacking it. All right, so I follow where I think it went. Uh, so I'm just going to... Right over here. And as I see it... I see it over here, right? That's yeah, you the see one? it. Okay, that's good. That's good. good. Okay, I'm going. I can't cast that. It'll make too much noise. Uh, the orc just yelled very loudly in orcish. You're beyond noise now. Okay, never mind. So the fucker dies. Uh, is it is it wearing anything metallic? Is it holding anything metallic? It is holding a great axe. Uh, it'll drop it. So if it was wearing anything metallic, that would have been awesome. Uh, his armor is hide. Dang. Okay. That's why he's so stealthy. Uh, all right. So okay, I can't do much other than just fire off a bolt coming up now. All right, that's a hit. Roll damage. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. All Dang. right, just barely. You catch him in the back of the knee, and he crumples to one. Uh, he crump that leg just crumples beneath him, and as he hits the ground, he just stops moving. And it looks like his adventurer's days are behind him. No. All right. Yeah. His turn is over. Skyrim reference. Yes, we knew. Nobody wanted to acknowledge. Okay, the thank you. All right. <laughs> it's been warm out. Yes, okay. Yes, what do you guys do? Bye, Skyrim. Uh, Elgin, it's your turn. You know that he yelled out, but you don't know what's happening. I, w I want to check the body if he has anything worth looting. Oh, uh, we're still in initiative. Oh, we're still. Oh, I forgot about because that. Because more are coming. Yay! Okay, everybody take positions. We should just knock down every single door and murder all the things because we. Ugh. Okay, yeah, um, I move 30 feet, and then I just ready my uh, action for when I see an orc come near me. All right, roll on. All right, I'm going to do something somewhat. Yeah, it's too bad that uh, these guys are going to go before Thorian, because he had a clever idea. Okay, so just to confirm, I don't see any orc tokens from where I am. I don't see am. any orcs. 
Would you like to make a perception check? Yes, yes, I do. Right, that'll be your action. So 12. You do not see anything. Cool. I will end my turn then. Lachlan. Okay, I am going to uh, move up behind everybody. Or try and go. Oh, shit, where is behind everybody? I'm going to cast light. All right, thank you. Combat was very painful when one person can't see. Two. She can see. She has a. She, she has, has a ten feet of light. Yes. Better so than nothing. I'll, I'll cast light and then I'll move. ZLT has reminded us we should have gotten hooded, hooded lanterns at the last place of civilization. Well, so much for not being in plain sight to archers outside of sixty feet. Yay. Well, coulda, shoulda, woulda. How do I put on? Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh, wow. This place is big. Uh, I gotta go step over. This is a dead end, right? That is a dead end. There it's, we go. Uh, to the like, left. I can see them. No, the don't, left, don't, don't like that. Don't drink cliff that. That goes, uh, that goes down. Uh, to the right is a mountain. Like, the edge of a cliff, but you're on the bottom of it. And you're on a path that's sort of carved into this big cliff. Okay. All right, and oh, and can I change my dog's name? Because turns out the dog's name is actually London. You can, but give me a moment. Uh, so the first <laughs> shot uh, takes you guys by surprise. An arrow from a uh, concealed arrow slit strikes at uh, my knee, Elga. Oh, thank God, not the big bright light. Elga is the big bright light. Oh, she's the little wee light. At his advantage. Okay, they were then. Hidden. They're out of view to you guys. Or they were out of view to you guys until uh, they fired shots and like, oh, hey, there's arrow slits there. I'm sorry, did I do that? So you will take nine uh, piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Thorium. Uh, unless, of course, unless you can accidentally make arrows appear, uh, you didn't do that. Uh, I'm <laughs> guessing arrow came through, came from there. That looks like uh, the that most one. Yes, did, arrow did come from there. Yeah, that looks like the most arrow slitty thing to me. Uh, so, uh, can I see an orc if I like walk up to there? Can I see an orc? You can't see the uh, the orcs from there. Okay. Uh, moving forward, you can make another. an attack into it, but they will have cover. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, then uh, I'll hit him with some ray of frost. All right, give me an attack roll. Uh, I that did. One, that will miss. And I uh, know oh, that will hit. Aha. And uh, Thorian will say in Elvish, cool down, why don't you? Uh, and that's it. That's the where you would assume uh, is fired back at you in Orcish. Was that yes, a but... bad pun? That sounded like a bad pun. Uh, it was an incredibly bad pun. I don't actually have anything right now. All right, a second arrow. This time aimed at Thorian, since he is hey! firing through the arrow slits. <laughs> I, I do deserve it. I will miss Camilla. Oh, right. Can I see anyone through the arrow slits? Uh, you cannot. You need to make uh, an attack that they will have advantage, or they will, they will uh, have cover. That is fine. All right, so I'm going to move up to one next to one of the arrow slits. Is this roughly where I can see an arrow slit? There it is. There are arrow slits. Now that you guys, now that there's arrows coming out of them, you guys see arrow slits here, here, and here. You can't attack with a rapier through the arrow slit. I was just going to stab, stab. It's no, a they're, pointed they're, weapon. They have, 
They have elevation. These are these are arrow slits. These are firing down on the path. Sorry for not being clear. Oh, for, they're, they're from firing above. Firing down. Yes, these guys well, are firing then, down. Well then, eff it. I'm gonna rush forward. Uh, I'm not in front of an arrow slit, am I? You are directly in front of an arrow slit. Well, balls. I thought that I was. Uh, uh, I thought that I was. They can see cover. everywhere on the path. Well, All right. shit. Okay. Run forward. These are very well made defenses. Okay, you round the corner. And I will use my shield to block off the top of my head. If they are coming right. from above. Shallow steps lead up through a steep fissure to the south and turn east into the mountainside. Here, a broad entryway has been carved out of the stone. Marble steps cracked with age and veined with green moss lead up to a strong double door of carved stone. Eight feet wide and almost ten feet tall. Arrow slits high on the north and south walls command this area. Right. What was um, that? Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's stairs uh, leading up to a big door. You see arrow slits here and here. These ones are not concealed. Uh, they're not carved into a jagged stone face. This is a carved stone entryway. I will shout to my compatriots, there's a door here and it's visible arrow slits! Now come on! Uh, We're like a turkey shooting gallery. What, what's, that, what's that phrase? Fish in a barrel? Yes! <laughs> Alright. Serena. I like how the one is called Orc with Longbow. Maybe that's his Orcish name. Alright, so just getting a better view of where everyone else is. I, uh, because uh, am I able to see the slots from where I am? Uh, yes, but you can't see... Uh into them. They're, they're way yeah. up top. They're way up top. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to crouch my way down. Um, not all the way down. I don't want to take the first strike for anything. Okay. Um, that's 15. Alright, so I'm going to move just a few more feet. That's it. And I'm going to uh, get my action ready. Uh, crossbow, bolt, any orc or anything that comes in my way, I just shoot it. That's it. Okay. This guy is going to move. Camilla, the open door ahead of you. Oh, it's open. Okay. Slam shut. Well, fuck. There we are. Okay. Uh, one more attack this time at who makes the most sense. Uh, I'm going to say Serena makes the most sense. He's going to fire at Serena. Mm. 17 oh. for 4 piercing damage. Damn it. Elga Serpentbane, who have been uh, hit with an arrow and more firing uh, out of these slits constantly. What do you do? I move down. And yeah, just keep moving. Uh, can I dodge as an action? Yes, I dodge. Okay. Roll on. All right, let's see here. All right, 45 feet of movement to there. You said there were open arrow slits? There are open arrow slits directly north of you and directly south of you in the walls. Do I see targets through them? You don't. These are well up on the uh, 
These are well up on the walls. These are up multiple staircases. All right. In that case, then, I will dodge. End of turn. All right. Flocklin. Okay, so the arrows are firing. They're all running forward. I'm by myself. Oh, no. Uh, and I am going to... Remember, you have 80 feet. 40 you have 40 feet. feet of movement, yes. While you're on the Mastiff. Well, I'm on London. I will change its name to London. Okay, so that's 40 feet. Uh, where are the arrow slits? Can I see them from here? Uh, you can, because you saw arrows coming down. Uh, there are arrow slits from where you're standing. There are arrow slit. There's an arrow slit here. There's an arrow slit here. There's an arrow slit uh, right here. So this is an arrow slit? Yep. So I am going to... I'm going to double move... And we're going to push right against the wall so we can't be seen. I'm not in, okay. Am I in sight of any of the uh, arrow slits that I know about? Uh, push right up against the wall. Uh, it will be hard to see you. You would have uh, three quarters cover. They'd have to really aim down. All right. Good enough for me. And done. All right. Uh... So this one is going to... Thorian didn't dodge, did he? Uh, not yet. Thorian's going to take a uh, longbow attack. Is he? Don't think he so. He is not. Oh, maybe one. Oh, was, did that, was that double rolled? Yep. That's a 17 oh. to hit for Thorian? Uh, I think I double rolled, not right? With a shield, not with a shield, it's not. Okay. Arcane energy to flex the arrow, sending it uh, helplessly down the cliff. Thorian, it is your turn. Uh, Thorian kind of gives give, gives the arrow uh, the arrow slit kind of a wry smile, and then he uh, sort of advances to uh, trying to go. That's twenty feet. That's thirty feet there. And so I see a door ahead of me. Yes, that has been closed. slammed shut, and there are uh, visible arrow slits to the north and to the south of Rolon. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to. Um, hmm. I have some interesting uh, options here. I don't have the knock spell, unfortunately, because otherwise I would just make that happen. Um. Only thing I can think of. Well, all right, I'll dodge. Because I have to get up to the door first. Okay. This orc is going to fire at Serena, who did not dodge. Uh, nine piercing damage to Serena. Oh, All right, Camilla. She's going to breathe deeply and run up to the door. Okay. I'm trying to find a good icon for dodge. I can't. Well, it really only lasts one round, so it doesn't matter. Can you ping my character or ping me? Thank you. All right. I moved does everybody look, there. Does it look like locked, locked, or just closed? It is slammed shut. You can't see uh, anything right now. All right, I'm going to dodge. Okay. Serena, you have been struck with an orcish arrow. Twice. Does that token just mean that... Uh, Mean that Thorian's dodging, or mean that he just has fabulous shoes right now? Uh, not only does he have amazing shoes, but he's currently very quick on his feet. Serena, sorry. All right, I'm going to move up ahead behind Thorian. And don't see anyone there. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, before that, I go into dodge mode. Uh, 
And I no. All right. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go into dodge. Is anybody not dodging? Except for Flocklin? Uh, I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Okay. Um, so this orc is going to yeah, fire at Roland. Uh, cool. because of the two people you can see, Roland does not have armor. But he will miss. I didn't even I, have I don't, to move to dodge that. I don't try to... Uh, I try to avoid metagaming Roland's uh, catch missile thing. Yeah. Uh, so this orc is going to move. Uh, Roland's going to have another arrow come at him. Okay. Another miss. That one came slightly closer to hitting him. Uh, the arrow is now firing from the north and south into the courtyard you guys are in. Elga. Joy. Dodge again. Okay, you move in. Now you're in the courtyard. Uh, the arrow slits, by the way, directly north of Roland and directly south of Roland on the walls. Well above okay. you. How many approximately in each wall? There are two, there's one in each wall for, that has cool. view of this courtyard. Uh, Roland. All right, so... I know I have enough movement to get to the doors, which I assume are right next to me here. Yep. All right. So, using my interact with objects, can I open the doors? Uh, no, these are barred and will require an action to attempt to open. An action and a strength check. Well, we're not good with those. So instead, we're just going to try and bash the thing open. So... Okay, give me an attack roll. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Shatter Spike is special. It is, but these are not... These are stone doors, I believe. Yeah, these are stone doors. These are the front doors. I don't think a 10 hits stone. Let me pull up the DMG. Let's put a bookmark on this page. Yeah, it's the one thing that this thing does. Nah, doesn't hit stone. Not with a 10. All right. Uh... That'll be my turn then. All right, Flo Flocklin. Okay, again, left behind. So I'm going to move up. Uh, okay, can any of the arrow slits see me here? Uh, yes. The one on the south wall can absolutely see you. Oh, down here? Uh, no, down, uh, down here. And this door is closed, right? That door is closed. Uh, and there's one right here, right? There's not. There's one, uh, there are slits, uh, basically the top of the staircase. There are slits in the north and south. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, I moved from where there. So 5, 10, 15. 55, right there. So double move, and I am out of sight of the arrow. Uh, um, we'll push against the wall. Okay, yeah, you're, you're mostly out of sight. And you're small. It's easy for you to hide. Orc is going to come here. He and his, his friend are going to take turns firing out of this arrow slit. Uh, this one's oh, like, are Elga. they sharing the longbow too? That's no, so just cute. a slit. There's three orcs with one longbow. 
18 to hit for Elga. 17, or not 17, 7 piercing damage. I dodged again, though. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Uh, 13 to hit, you're good. Okay. Everyone else is putting a little dodge token. <laughs> I will do that. Thorian, you dodged. What uh, are you doing now? I did dodge. Um, I'll kill the token if uh, they decide I'm not dodging anymore. Um, I'm going to sort of get up to the stairs here. I'm guessing I'm still within arrow slit sight, right? Uh, yeah, you are. Okay. Um, I'm I'm looking at the door. Did uh, did Roland try the door at some point, or did he just get up to it? He tried to hit it with his sword. Well, no. First, I tried to push it open. Didn't work, so I hit it with the sword. You attempted to hit it with the sword. You somehow uh, missed. He missed it. Uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, all right. I yeah, I'll continue to dodge. Um, primarily, I wanted to get another five feet over so I'd be out of sight of one of the arrow slits. But whatever. Um, I'll dodge for now until someone okay. opens the door. Camilla, it's your turn. All right, I am going to go over here. Is it locked, or does it just need to be pushed open? It is barred from the other side. All right, so strength to see if we can undo it? Yep, athletics. Your pathetic attempts uh, don't even I it. am a dexterity-based paladin. I will let you know. <laughs> okay. It's a perfectly legitimate build. Hey, my kobold is a dexterity-based paladin. See? Right. Completely sure, legitimate. Yeah. You see your compatriots far ahead attempting to push open a door. Almost as if we need a strong, sexy barbarian. <laughs> Oh god, the party is one strong character. I'm coming, I'm coming! I'm just Dexy, okay? I'm Dexy. It's a legitimate strategy. Are you too Dexy for the shirt? Damn right I am. Okay, good. But not too Dexy for the door. Nope. Alright. Since it's Serena's turn, I'm just gonna... Uh, very close to dying. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way here. Let's see. That's just about enough. Exactly what I need. Should I shatter the door? Not right now. There's two party members standing next to it. Uh oh. That's All right. Suck for them. Go again, I'm gonna go into dodge mode. Now I'm gonna take okay. any more chances. Uh, shot coming at. Let's say Thorian. That will miss. That Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Hate him because Shot he's an at Elga. No, we hate him because uh, he wouldn't stop talking about it. Yes. Elga. Oh, Andy's wine snob. There's that. Attack after attack misses as you guys are being very careful to uh, pay attention to when the arrows are popping out and jump out of the way. Um, but Elgid, it's your turn. I move up beside Thorian. And I dodge. Okay. I'm being very careful, guys. I'm coming. Patience. Roll on. All right. So this is either going to be really cool or really bad. I'm attacking the door. You miss. <laughs> I strike the wall instead. Cool. Uh, you drop. You know, you're, you just, you're not finding a weak point. You're hitting it. You're not missing. I'm, I'm the probing object. it for weaknesses. There, there we go. Hit um, it with shatter right. spike instead of shatter spike. Um, I will then very, very gracefully move out of the way to allow the big, strong barbarian to bash her way through the door. All right, Flocklin. 
Okay, so have they they have not gotten through the door, right? No, they've not gotten to the door and arrows are raining into the courtyard. Yeah, me and London will sit here and have a ration. <laughs> okay. You named him London. That's awesome. Uh, that was Arrow. the name of the littlest hobo. That's right. Arrow coming at... I mean, I got to choose between Elga and Thorian. Uh, it's going to come at... Uh... Say Elga. Uh, miss. Thorian, it is your turn. It is my turn, and I'm seeing the, uh, uh, you know, the, the the display of martial prowess here happening. Unfortunately, the only spells I've really got are not good for breaking through doors. So, uh, I guess my action will be to continue to dodge for now. Um, I don't see anything else I can do until we get Elga in here. All right. Uh... Orc. All right. Camilla, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and knock this damn thing down again. Cursing my life and my name and... <laughs> Mr. Orkbachoff, tear down this wall! Brendan, so a long time ago, oh, wow. I built a wall I between... Am aware. Yes, there's this uh, East German... Yeah. There was once in East and West that, Germany. I'm not that young. Okay, 19, yes, I motherfucker! I don't remember it being torn down. I don't think I was alive yet. But I know the history, you, damn it. You weren't, because it was 87, and I don't remember it. Yeah, no, I was alive, and I don't remember it happening. Or was it 89? It God, was 89. No, 89. It was 89. All right, Camille. Was you, it 89? Yeah. You brace yourself. You don't want to be, you don't wanna be uh, embarrassed in front of, in front of Elga. At your ineptitude. Uh, but you brace yourself, you run in, you charge, you shoulder the door as hard as you can, and it doesn't budge. Ugh. Ah! She'll just go, like, try and go mad rage, and that ends my turn. But if it budged, wouldn't it be a budgie? That's a so bird. It, it doored, so it do. Serena. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust Elga that she's gonna get this door open. So, um, uh, have some inspiration, Elga, for the door. Thank you. That is a D six. All right, uh, Orc. Orc is going to attack Serena. And miss. Oh, thank God. Orc is going to attack Elga. Because the angle makes a lot more sense. Attacking Thorium would be kind of difficult. Uh, but that will miss Elga. Don't roll a one. All right. I'm you going. You. I'm did going someone to just knock on wood? I think so. I think we all did. Uh, strength check. Yep, athletics works. Athletics. Uh, so that's going to be a plus two. Um, and then my d6 of inspiration, I'm using it. That's a D20. Oh, that was a D20. Wait, I, no, I have D6 selected. She's so good, she rolls a 10 on a D6. I rolled a, it says 1D6. How did it roll a 20? All right. Unfortunately, uh, just that's, like Camilla's that's a 26. 19, uh, that is a 19. No, because I'm raging. Oh, you raged? Okay, yes. yes. You smashed through the door. <laughs> no, that's a 24. You see the bar plummeting. Uh, you actually see it fly as you smash these uh, these double doors open. Let me get rid of the doors. Oh yeah! You see the the door uh, fly wall. into the pit, uh, or the the bar for the door fly into this pit ahead of you. Um, you see a drawbridge or a a suspension bridge uh, reaching across a chasm. 
sways back and forth at the uh, the impact uh, you had on the room. Yeah! I look for something to hit. You don't see anything to hit. God damn it. Oh, there goes a rage. You could hit me with it. Um, all what, right. if, what if I like punch the wall? Would that count? That would not count. Damn it. Punch myself. The door. Punch the fire. Roll on. What if I punch oh, myself? Take damage. Right. Stand in the fire. No. It's not take damage. You have to be attacked. Oh, that's be you take damage from an enemy attack. Okay, so if fire not your enemy needs chemical no. energy to no. Nope, they uh, they've already seen your 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 attempt at flouting the rules, and they've uh, they've shut you down. Roland, you see across this uh this rope bridge two figures, just barely at the edge of your vision, uh, wearing hide armor. Okay, so and as you get closer, you can see javelins in their hand. Cool. Uh, the bridge itself, by the way, will be difficult terrain. Okay, just a sec. And you have to make checks to cross it. All right, so 15 feet to move to here. 15 right. feet to move to there. It's difficult terrain on the uh, the bridge. Yeah. I had, I had 45 meters. Oh, feet yeah, of yeah. Movement. So 15 gives me 30 feet left, which allows all right, me to give me, All right, give me a acrobatics check. Monks, man. All right, you make it. Please. But I, if I'm doing anything, I'm probably running across the rope. All right. Um, He's running I in the spaces should, okay, between okay, the slats. Just barely make out their tokens. Yep. Let's see here. Well, they're in the dark. 35 and 35. Sheet. All right. I'm um, in a dodge. You're gonna dodge? Okay, Flockland. Actually, no. You hear no. the impact. Yeah, we're good. Right. You hear the impact and the uh, the breaking of this wooden beam that barred the door. What do you do? Yeah, you I'm can't see it. Them. Yeah, I'm gonna follow them in. So five. All right. Those bracers actually let off light. Uh, new apparently. They should. Uh, Usually, roll twenty is high on that. No, they do it well. Can a um ba 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 arrow slit see me here? Uh, no, not there. Okay, then I will stop here. Oh, and that was only forty feet of movement. Ba, uh, is that door open all the way, or is it like how it is on the map? The door is open all the way. Elga smashed it. And I can't see anybody else, so I will end there. Oh, I guess I still have an action, so I will um, dodge. Okay. Two javelins come out of the darkness uh, directly at Roland. I am dodging. I have multiple different character sheets up just for orcs. Because there's the, the really? Yep, there's different variants of the character sheets. Well, some have longbows. No, it's just the one longbow that they have to share. All right, both attacks miss, narrowly uh, avoiding hitting you and forcing you to make a check to stay on site on the. Uh, is it the if bridge. they hit or if, if they, they deal hit, damage? If they hit, you feel like the impact 
would likely send you plummeting unless you were careful. Uh, looking below, you do not see the bottom of this ravine. Arrow coming at Thorian since he's still outside. Mm hmm. Uh, 13? Uh, nope. Thorian, it is your turn. Okay, Thorian is going to uh, prance his way in. Um, he's going to look around and he's going to consult his notes on exactly what Blade Song does. Um, and he doesn't like the look of this bridge, so it is Blade Song time. Uh, and you would have seen two javelins come at me from the other side of the. You would have. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're gonna cut the bridge down? Uh, no, I'm entering Blade Song, which means I am uh, doing a very fancy Elven jig, and also I'm you know super dexy, and I have advantage on uh, on on stuff like dex uh, checks. Oh, speaking of like which, that. if you're moving onto the bridge, give me an yeah. athletics or an acrobatics check. Uh, yeah, thirteen. Okay. Yep, you're good. So is this like uh, so when? Oh when, my uh, a my AC is temporarily eighteen for the next minute. All right. Uh, but, uh... Uh, okay. Hold on a second. I was out there ten twenty, and so that would have taken me forty to move there, right? Once you step onto the bridge, so the last 10 feet you moved were difficult terrain. Okay. Um, so the last 10 feet was 20 feet? Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. That uh, that makes sense. Uh, anything I, else? Uh, nope, that was a bonus action. Uh, I still actually have an action action, but I will continue to dodge for now. Okay. Uh, this orc... You see one orc uh, disappearing into the darkness ahead of you. Closing the door behind him. God damn it. And uh, as he closes the door, you hear out that same cry you heard earlier in Orcish. Probably like send help or some shit, right? Uh, they're orcs. It doesn't actually matter what they're saying in their guttural garbage language. Don't Camilla, be racist you... like Jesus Christ, man. Camilla, you have just been thoroughly upstaged by Elga. What do you do? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, fist pump and dive in and start killing some fuckers. Alright, uh, are you gonna run across the bridge? Ye yes. Carefully, All right. though, give now. Me a, Carefully. Give me an acrobatics check. Now this I can do! And I will remind you guys, you cannot see the bottom of this chasm. Steph hates it when I shake the those type of bridges when we're walking across them. Oh, okay, so you take one to Thorian and roll on. You take one step, uh, and your foot goes through the uh, the plank. I was saying I was being careful. Foot goes through the plank, uh, and you're stalled right there. All right, you guys move ahead, and then I'll catch up with you. Anyone have a mending cantrip? All right. Uh, Serena. Yes. Wait, Prestidigitation can fix that, right? No. Oh. Uh, looks like we've uh, lost Nabil again. Hello? But did we ever really Hello. have Nabil? I had Nabil. Ooh, do tell. Don't, a gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Can you guys hear me now? So, let's keep talking yeah. about Nabil while he can't hear us. We can yeah, hear us. no, that guy Nabil, wow, let me tell you. Hello? He's great. Hello? Nabil, can't hear you. Nabil, where in the world have you been hiding? What? That's from, um, Fan of the Opera. Said it's Christine. Okay, Christine. uh, Serena's hiding. Okay, well, I'm not gonna shoot him, because he would have moved forward. Uh, Elga. Wait. 
Your out rage, there. your rage fades. Oh god damn it! I'm muted here. Um, I don't see anything I can attack. Did I see where the javelins came from? They came from across the bridge. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Can I move past my allies? Right. The I don't know if difficult terrain stacks, uh, but they would be difficult terrain. Uh. Yeah, there's no point then. Because that's going to... I'm going to land on a roll-on. Yeah, I'm just going to move off to the side here, and I'm going to dodge. Okay, roll let on. Every, kind of let everyone else get across the bridge and then follow. Oh, my dodge token. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, come on. Load the token. Loading. Loading. God damn it, token. Play a baseline. Oh, and give me an acrobatics check, Lauren. All right, you can make progress. It is still difficult terrain. Oh, that's why it won't let me select the damn thing. I have my ruler out. Forty-five feet of movement up to there. Okay. And bonus action to prepare a Kensai shot and chuck a dart at the only one I can see clearly. All right, give me an attack roll. That will hit for seven damage. That's my turn. Okay, Flocklin. Okay. Uh, oh, do you want to do a five-minute break after this round? Uh, sure. Okay. Always so, forget those. I just started making. That's why I was. Though. Yeah, that's why I was mentioning because I knew you always forget them. Uh, I am going to move uh, Spur London on, and we are going to cross the bridge. All right. Uh, give me an acrobatics check, so a dex check from London. Oh. Okay, London can make no progress. Uh, steps in the same hole that Camilla just made and isn't quite sure how to get out of it. Doesn't make any progress this round. Mending. Mending. I can't mending. Mending oh, takes but a you, minute. You, you can't mend, but as presentation, you can create something uh, like five foot by five foot square. So you can cr just create like another bit of a... or maybe 10 foot by 10 foot square? Is... I thought they were illusory. No, it can be a physical object. It just disappears after a while, but it feels right. Okay. So as a result of uh, Roll-On getting across, uh, these two orcs rush forward to there and to there, and they are both going to take an attack at the rope. Oh, come on. I know what the adventure rude. says. <laughs> this is highly logical. But I hope some of you have at least Featherfall or something else. I don't. Roland's right there. All right. Uh, the one rope badly damaged. Son of a bitch. Uh, as is the other rope. Son of a bitch. Uh, They're both okay. hanging on by threads. Wow. Just okay. get off. Just get off. Well, I mean, okay, let's say they sever the bridge. We can no longer progress with the mission and we're done, right? And like, you die. Well, anybody who's also on the win win. Died. Let's do that. The good plan, guys. And oh, everybody who's on, on the, the other side of the bridge is out of the mission. Like, we're, you're done. You don't know that. We could bring grappling hooks and stuff back. We could come back. Yeah. Right. Thorian right. Silverleaf. Uh, okay, um, so I am on the bridge right now. I am moving 40 feet, but this is difficult terrain. Uh, so that, well, that won't... Give me a, uh, an acrobatics check, by the way. Right. That won't get me all the way to the end of the bridge, will it? No. Uh, if I dash, bridge, it, 
Yeah, if I dash, it if will. You dash, right? you can. Yep, you can okay. only without dashing, you can only get like get to like there. You yeah, be on okay, the edge. I'll dash. All right, you dash, making it across. Uh, which means I am no longer embooted. How do I unemboot myself? Click the icon again. All right. There it is. So dashing is my action. Uh, that's it. Yep. Okay, Camilla. Okay, so these things are barely hanging by a thread. Yep. Uh, acrobatics check, and also it's difficult terrain. Are you kidding me? All right. I have faith in my god. At least someone here does. But they have faith in you. Okay, you just barely managed to uh, navigate. You make it 15 feet across. So you're one square back from there? One square? Okay. Uh, what do you do now? If Is it the same acrobatics check to go to just dash? Uh, if you dash, I'll make another 15 feet, but you will not cross all the way. Well, then you I'm just... You don't have to make another acrobatics check, though. I'm dashing then, and I'm going to have a okay. murder, very murderous look in my eye. Just murder. Serena. <laughs> Is Nabil back? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. All right. Uh... You can see this clearly with your superior dark vision. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what do we see? Thorian and Roland. Alright, so you see Yeah, you see Thorian and Roland on the other side. Uh two orcs have begun chopping at the bridge. Uh, what are they uh, what are they chopping with? Um, great axes. Oh uh, made of wood? Uh no, they are not made out of wood. They're actually rather finely made for what uh, orcs would typically use. It's the medieval equivalent of the big gold scissors. <laughs> you know what spell Hollis would cast in this cir circumstance? Um, Expedition retreat? Dad I should have taken that spell. That would have been awesome. Okay, uh, I'm going to cast Heat Metal. At the Axis? At one of the axes right. Which axe? On the orcs. Top or bottom, Mark? Uh, um, wait. I see. You can see two the orcs orc chopping at the wood. Stop. Or chopping at the bridge. Thorian, I believe. The one next to Thorian, okay. Thorian. Give me a damage roll. Top. The top one. Uh, heat metal. Uh, what's your DC? Because it's not 10. It's 13. So either way, he succeeds, I'm getting, yeah. All right. uh, it doesn't matter. He takes the full damage. Um, and that is enough to kill him. He, His arms, uh, his hands burn black. As his uh, as the metal heats up, he uh, surprised by this, he loses his balance and falls off the cliff, plummeting, plummeting. Will plummeting. scream. Drop by a any few time. Seconds later, a few seconds later, finally, bam! Impact. Oh Drop. no! That's long enough to know that you're gonna hit. Okay, everybody into the pool. Out of oh. the pool! <laughs> I 
I think I soiled the pool. Sorry. All right. Uh, so, Elga. Hmm. Bursting out of a secret entrance behind you. What the fuck? <laughs> One of the orcs who was shooting at you guys earlier. God damn it, I thought they were all on the other side. now sort of under the map Why? a little bit. But... Why? Why? Hey, <sighs> this is fine. Elga has someone to smash in the face. That is he... true. You I both are on his side. great axe back and swings at you. Disadvantage because I'm dodging. What? All right, a 13. I don't know why I'm rolling twice. Oh, no, an 8. That's why I'm rolling twice, because that wasn't an attack roll. An yeah. Eight. All right. And last turn of this round. All right. Uh, that's it for this round. Uh, five minute break, everybody. Of right. course, okay. as soon as I get to hit something. <laughs> uh, the perils of going first. You have killed what? Three orcs? Yeah, There's a lot kills. of effort to kill three orcs. I want to kill something. Okay, we're we'll back. Whoever designed this module designed it to uh, uh, to be one of the few times that uh, the opposition forces actually set up a proper defense perimeter with multiple fallback points. Oh, uh, by the way, Chris, I sent you the link for the misfit stuff. I know. I have it open in another tab, and I'm reading through it. Oh, yay! Uh, let's see here. If I spelled um, Dietrich's name wrong, I apologize. Let me know. I will correct it, but it's what I had in my uh, notes, so I'm pretty sure I have it right. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm guessing that you, uh, the last one you posted was the last stand of the Bloody Misfits, right? That was the most recent one, yeah, but I kind of yeah, put okay. it in, like, chronological timeline as to, like, the story of the people, right? Of the, of yeah. the group. Yeah, I figured. Um, no, it's hey, good. Patrick, by the way, I don't remember this battle. Surprisingly enough. Oh, is Patrick here? Hi, Patrick. Yeah, he's been uh, uh, via watching us the whole time. We're on a break, so lurking the whole time. Oh, Steph, I sent you the link too. Patrick, they made everything oh. mad. Well, I sent you a link to my blog since you just Ooh, so showed interest yes. in it. So it's. It's I'm, mostly book reviews, but yeah. Oh, I'm also writing uh, my own, the backstory of my character, Katya, for our story, The Spire, coming in September. I was going to submit Ooh. it to a short story um, anthology, but I missed the deadline. Oh, still, sad face. I know, sad face. But um, I'm still writing it, so I find it better I write by hand and then type it first. Sometimes that works for me too, yeah. Mostly because I don't have Word on this laptop, so I can't really transfer from, you know, um, unit to unit. But yeah, uh, I've got I've got my backstories for Elga and Arena, and I've also got some like Dragon Age stuff on there and some Game of Thrones stuff. Uh, Ooh, be right back. I always wanted to do a fanfiction for Dragon Age. I had like a partial one, but I never just finished it. I want to finish one of my short stories, damn it. And th I think this one is going to be the one that I actually finished, and I just use it for Nanaimo. I don't care if it's the summer. <laughs> yeah, I, I got, actually I complete got, a Nanaimo, damn it. I got the main, like my main stories um, for Dragon Age at Origins and Dragon Age 2 down. But, like, I wanted to do, like, a campfire scene with the warden and all of the companions for Dragon Age 1. I only got through, like, Alistair, Zevron, Wynn, and Morgan. So I only got through, like, five of them, but I want to finish that series. And then I'm, I started writing a crossover because you know how uh, Alistair and, uh, if depending on how you play Origins, right? Yes. Alistair comes to Kirkwall in Dragon Age 2 with the queen, the, with the hero. So There's kind another of way to get yeah, Alistair depending, to, uh, depending to on Kirkwall. When... Well, that, that's my canon, so like, I'm running a crossover where the ward and the hero like sit down and have a chat. <laughs> I'd like to point out there's a much, much worse way for Alistair to be in Kirkwall. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, I was that never happens. Just I just bury my name in the sand, or my head yep. in the sand. There are only two yeah, I mean, options for him. Either he becomes queen with the warden. <laughs> what about queen with Anora? 
Fuck no. no. Fuck her. No. She's a no. bitch. I hate her. Fuck that I know her as a bitch, Alice, but she's a good uh, politician. Alistair becomes a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally because respect her as a uh, female wait, politician. Alistair... But Alistair is mine, you stupid bitch. Alistair... The only... <laughs> oh, you can... You can, right, I'll be if right you're playing back. a female human noble warden, you can end up like as the concubine. Yeah, but no. No, he's mine. I'm ruling the kingdom. Fuck you, Enora. This is my man, this is my country. GTFO. Exactly. Enora might be politician savvy, but she's not like, you know, uh anything else savvy. Yeah. Well, if if you yeah, go that... the romancing Alistair route, of course. If you don't, then like fuck it, whatever. You two go go marry, be happy, have lots of babies. I'm gonna hang out with my hot elf. Is your hot elf Zevron? <laughs> yes, Zevron and Fe Fenris, Fenris and Dragon what? Age Two. Fenris was life. I did try to go for Anders. And honestly, as soon as he blew up the Chantry, I was like, fuck no, I am rebooting this shit. I am starting over from scratch. I was so torn Bonker, between the two of them. And bonkers in, in Dragon Age 2. I was so torn between those two, and I tried Anders. And... Anders yeah, went to Fenris. I, I missed Anders. Awakening Chantry. Anders. Awakening Anders was great. Oh, he was a jackass, but he was a lovable jackass. Sorry, Nabil, All... what were you saying? No, no, no. Uh, because uh, you mentioned that blowing up the chantry and you had to reboot the game. Uh, I thought the chantry being blown up was going to happen no matter what you do. Isn't that? Oh yeah, I just didn't want to be in a relationship with that asshole when he did it. Yeah, there's, there's no oh, way to save the okay. Yeah. Uh, I um, mean, I, I, I was. I feel asshole. like there should I be. Forgave him. I forgave him. You definitely That's what can I feel choose about. not to help him. Yeah, you, you, no matter what, it happens. You either help him or you don't. It's just like, I'm in a relationship with you. And he's like, oh, I, but I, I love you. And I was like, oh, but I, I, I can't let you live. <laughs> I mean, like, you're my heart and I can't let you live. Like, Anders, why? You broke me. That's, I'm going to Fenders now. <laughs> I'm going to the broody, angsty elf. <laughs> Honestly, everyone in Dragon Age 2 is terrible. For the most part. Except... A. Except, uh, I can't remember. Uh, Isabella now. is fun. The, 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 the Isabella soldier. is awful. Yes, I can't. How can I, I can't remember her name now. It's very annoying. Bethany? No, not Bethany, the third captain. Aveline? Um, Aveline, uh, thank you. Yeah, Aveline. Aveline's Isabella. great. Isabella she, put the entire city yeah. in danger, uh, by staying in the city. She could have left, she could have gone on a boat somewhere and left, but she stayed in the city. But she's well, fun. What about, what about you? Never have a boring time thing? with her. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Varric, Varric, oh, d did anyone hear the voice actor from Varric reading Hard and yes. High Town? Yes. Oh my that god, he's actually thing. reading it! Link, yeah, link, well, no, link, uh, link, uh, link, uh, link. Uh, it four pages. Pages. It I, get, I get my copy tomorrow. I'm so excited to read it. Because he, he's reading the description disc in the voice. Of this guard with a knife wound that he got off duty, and it was just perfect. Oh god! Oh god! I need that link. I need to hear this. I Calm see it down. Now. Oh, there it is. Um, I know it's on my Facebook. Because that's where it's I'm on at. Russia's Facebook now. I'm hearing bloops, but where are the? Oh, okay. There we go. They're in the actual that's game. Me. I'm, I'm rearranging. My, I'm rearranging my Yay! stuff to, uh, because they weren't being casted properly. Uh, is everybody back? Uh, Steph isn't. Okay. Are you being a dick? Oh, not yeah. opening. Open. Like I need. Oh my god. 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 This will be so much fun. I kind of assumed you'd seen it because I saw it on Lauren's Facebook, and I was, I just like I should post that in Discord. Nah, they've I don't have Lauren on Facebook. I don't think. I have Lauren, Steph, and Ian. Ian never posts anything. Did I even? I, I, I barely post anything. Friends? I think you did. Did I? That must be a Russian because I don't remember doing that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Barry yeah. Ontario. Yeah, that's what my uh, my friend's kid called me, and I didn't want people looking me up for uh, jobs. I mean, it's one letter, so I'm sure it still comes up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
I would be sad if 50% of you were turned to ash. Just saying. Which 50%? Be specific. Wait, are what? you doing the Thanos thing? I, ju- I finally saw it. Like last did night. It a, did it put a smile on your face? So, he's not <laughs> wrong, but he's not right. That's for damn sure. Why? Either. Can we discuss it openly now? Has it been long enough? I, I, well, hope so. I haven't seen it. Okay, never mind. Seen what now? For what? Okay, the movie's been out for over, what, two months now? The statute of limitations of spoilers is done, so... No, it's still cool, don't... Yeah, no. no, and we're on stream. What are we even talking about? Infinity War. Infinity War. Oh, eh. I'm gonna, theme, I'm gonna PM you, though, Ian. But Peter Dinklage, y'all. That came yeah. out of uh, Peter, Peter Dinklage as a 30-foot-tall dwarf. That's yes. better than his last big uh, sci-fi role that I'm aware of. What was that? A little tiny floating robot. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. And, and then, got, and then uh, was it Nolan North took over? And we and, got uh, play voices half the people in that game. I think you're forgetting his absolute I probably best am. I'm not a huge Peter Dinklage and fan. worst <gasps> movie I don't dislike ever. It, but I, I Have like, you I have... seen... Knights of Bad Astem. <laughs> where he is yes. at a LARP and it comes to life. And he's on shrooms. It's awful. It's so bad. It's it's amazing. Everybody is so badly amazing in it. It's so bad it's good. Yeah, that's definitely a so bad it's good, and it's only so bad because there was like a fight between the director and the production company or whatever it's called. And a lot ended up getting changed is why it's why it is what it is, but whatever. Lurping's hard to sell to the masses. Like the only other movie that was ever ever able to do it was Role Models. And while they took LARPing completely to task, they were not wrong in any of their jokes. Uh, are we all back? I think so. Yep. Chris? And Key left? Uh nope, I am in fact here. Alright. Uh, Elga, leave you. It is your turn. An orc has just burst through a secret door and attacked you with a great axe. <laughs> Hello. 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 Is Elga listening there, to? There we go. I'm here. Yep, it's your turn. I did. I rage and great axe. Oh, I didn't yeah. even see that. I, yeah, I no, it just all went something. very silent, and I was like, "Well, there should have been a response to all that." All right. So, please tell me that's a one shot. You use your second rage. Bear in mind, don't your care. Rage did fade. Uh, however, <laughs> you do cleave this orc in half with a single strike. All right. Uh. Five to I move past his bloody corpse. Do a little jig on it as I go through. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah. All right. You find an empty, uh, an empty room. Oh God! Uh, with she an left arrow us. Overlooking. Uh, Wait. Would I from back here? Would I see that's empty? No, I'd have to move in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to move in because you're uh, you're producing your own light. Okay. You get to the end of the hallway, and it's at the end of a hallway. Okay. Boop. Yeah, so I'm kind of like halfway stuck in the middle now to get back out. Whatever. Roll on. One orc is down. Very, very down. All right, so first thing, I'm going to try and take out the second one. That will miss. Okay, shouldn't really have Kensai shot on there. No, probably not. You're not throwing it. And then get a bunch of them. I will also miss. Fuck! Anything else? No. Uh, uh, yes. I'm going to move here to give people more room to move up. Okay. Uh, Flockland. Okay, so uh, looking around. 
Uh, we will do the full Jurassic Park. She left us! Uh-huh, she left us! Flocklin, and... will you just shoot him? Oh, who? I can't see anybody. This orc. You can't see the orc in front of me, can you? I see this one's kind of... Yeah, shoot this him. One... Steph, description of the room? No, no, I was trying to show Ian how to how to put a gif in Steph, chat. Just, just oh. do it in Discord. All right, we'll do it in Discord. Uh, okay, so I will shoot that one. Okay, give me an attack roll. You're going to shoot her! Shoot her! Oh, Lord. There it is. You want that to compete with the Jurassic Park reference. No, it's a good reference. I use it anytime there's a shoot. Uh, so... Uh, uh, okay, this wall here, Brandon. Yes. Uh, is it like a solid rock wall? Is it like a loose rock wall? Uh, uh, uh Steph, okay. can you save my book? Because the cat's very close to eating my Eberron book. All right, so, um, this sort of wall around the edge is solid. It goes, uh, to the ceiling, and these two things are pillars. Uh, like, you know, natural pillars that were left uh, to support the area above them. <laughs> the cat's eating Steph's D&D notes. It's not D&D short story, but oh, it's her, my character. It's her D&D fan yeah. fiction. <laughs> oh, even worse. All right. Um, sorry, so, I was firing. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was trying to see if I could catapult something off the wall into the orc. Uh, but I will just... Uh, Firebolt him because I can't really direct some of these for that kind of thing. That will hit for four fire damage. Okay, this orc and is determined though. And uh, London and I are going to try and scamper across the bridge and past. Uh, All right, give me an Camilla. acrobatics check from the dog. Okay, you're fine. You can move twenty feet. So, like, in the first episode, they throw the dog out of an airplane. Wait, so, what? That was Wait, a... Uh, here's a question. What's the dog's a normal movement speed? Uh, 40. So, I'm going to be able to move 20. You can move 40, because you can make your mount dash. Oh, right. I know the mounting combat rules back and forth. And I will get up to this corner here. And okay, you will take an attack, attack of opportunity. opportunity. Yep. Yeah. I was hoping he'd already done one. No, he hasn't. But we're going to dash by. Go, girl, go! 16 for, for slashing damage. Uh, shield? Okay. You shield the Bob damage. Magic. Yeah, roll me a d4, Ian. Don't roll a 4. Or bad things could happen. Please roll a 4. I want to roll a four so badly. No, right, not roll me, don't a, roll me a d4. Now. Okay, here we go. Nope. Oh. Me too. Remember, you can try there. and force them with uh, the other thing. I think you have access yeah, to that, what? right? Yeah, Wild Magic Surge or Tides of Chaos. I forgot about Tides of Chaos, but yeah. Tides of Chaos, right. Tides of Chaos. After uh, swinging at you, this orc, uh, or do you, you, you do something? Uh, no, I can't use Tides of Chaos now, right? No, it's, uh, it's uh, when you make an attack roll or a fading throw or something. Oh, um, right. It gives me advantage. advantage. I can't remember. I have to look it up. Yep. It's been a while. It might be a re-roll. I'm not sure. But anyway, this orc is, after swinging at you, going to bring his axe up to attack the rope again. And he does. Severing one of the ropes. Steph, I need you to make me... Yeah, I need you to take me... Make me a... Uh... Saving throw. I mean, dexterity saving throw. Okay. Yeah, Tides of Chaos is attack roll ability check or saving throw. Uh, oh, that son of a yeah. bitch! Can I, oh, and I can't even call up, oh my god. Am I dead? I'm dead, ain't I? Son of a fucking whore. Why is no one talking to me? Um, Brendan. Hey. Well, we were waiting on Brendan. Oh, yeah. Uh, as the bridge shakes, Camilla loses her footing. 
Can I just- I can jump though! I'm literally right next to it! I can just literally jump five feet! Tries to jump forward. One of the boards breaks and she plummets, plummets over the edge. Falling 200 feet down. Oh I'm my god. fucking Re dead. <laughs> Reaction, feather, feather fall. No! Yes! Yes! Thank you, Serena! Why All does right. no one listen to me? I'm screaming my ass off. Uh, I didn't hear you until you said that. You, you are didn't hear you until breaking just that one. a lot. So, yeah. Camilla, Steph, Camilla starts to fall, and you see down, and you just don't see the bottom. And then you start to fall, but you get caught midair by a magical force and begin descending. You are now 60 feet down. You still don't see the bottom. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Um, is it my turn? Can I grab onto the edge and start climbing? Uh, no, it's not your turn yet. It, thanks to Featherfall, would I get, like, another dexterity save to see if I grab down to something? Nah. Ah! So, could we point out the really fantastic thing about Eberron coming in? Uh, Featherfall tokens. One off little tokens that you break to cast feather fall as you fall. That used to be just a thing in Dungeons and Dragons. Really? Yeah, it was it was in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Like oh. third edition. You could just get a feather token for Featherfall. I thought it was a Eberron thing. I think there's also a necklace in fourth edition that you could get that would automatically just do it for you. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised that's not a thing in fifth, but no. All right, an orc comes rushing through, gets to the bridge, does not notice Serena yet, uh, sees people on the bridge. Well, sees nobody on the bridge, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Sees Serena now and uh, moves towards her with his run, uh, bonus action. Run, run, Oh, my fucking God, run. Attacks Serena with a great axe. Oh! <laughs> Is it a concentration uh, misses, spell? You missed. No, I, it is not a concentration spell. Okay, thank Everyone, you. Uh, up to the, five, falling. Sorry. Or Bill, can you uh, reconnect? And shut uh, down uh, anything else on your computer that might be using the internet. Stop torrenting uh, all that porn. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. old joke. Jokes that were funny in 2007. Uh, yeah. Maria, Maria Butina is not going to marry you, no matter how much data you give her. All right, Thorian. You, you realize he, he logged off in the middle of me saying what I said. Yeah. Tur Oops. Turn off any uh, any downloads or whatever you got. Uh, so Thorian's going to walk up to there, and he is going to... Um, hit this guy in the face with his... Do I get any bonuses to attack while I'm doing blade selling? No, nah, I don't believe so. No. Alright. Uh, well, uh, I am a sword elf and I'm gonna hit him for <laughs> nothing. No, you're not gonna hit him. Alright. And I do my, my little wavy bladey dance and nothing spectacular happens. Alright. Uh... Thorian Silverleaf Orc with Longbow is not here. Oh, these guys didn't go. Whoops. These guys all had a turn. Give me one moment to move all these tokens. Steph, would you say you're in the pits right now? Ugh. Dude. No! Dude, that was horrible. You're feeling down and out? No. I had to agree to his puns in our marriage contract. <laughs> <laughs> However, I control the finances, so it's pretty good. It's punishing. <sighs> Look, she's feeling pretty crestfallen right now. Oh, I don't think my crest could fall. 
And when you're crest on your shield, it's falling with you. Uh, I thought about you talking. Could, you, could, you could bet your bottom dollar on that. All right, Camilla, you are falling. Uh, 60 more feet. You are 120 feet down. All right, I am going to... Is you can there a no rope? longer see the bridge. I am going to try and climb the wall. It'd be great if we had my crane warforged right now. Feather fall real quick. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> No, you're falling straight down. I can like swim to to the to the thing to the side. I can, you know. She can. I have a rope. So, so apparently, on the uh, International Space Station, one of the pranks is to slight uh, to drift one of your coworkers into the center of one of the modules where they can't reach anything to move themselves and leave them there, and they kind of have to swim like a Looney Tunes character to get enough air movement to move to the side of the module to be able to do anything. Why would you do that? I would just take off the sock and throw it in the opposite direction of the one I wanted to go. I guess you could do that, too. Do they? Yeah, I guess they wear socks. <laughs> yeah. It'd be can... very slowly because you're adding very little momentum. All right, take so I'm going to swim up to the side. I don't take... think you can move. I can take move! Straight down. Take a I breath can... in one direction and exhale very sharply in the other direction. Yeah, I can move. I can totally tr at least try and move. I, it's just my falling is slowed. It doesn't say I'm paralyzed. I can still move. If, it was pa if I was paralyzed, sure. But I'm not paralyzed. She is fine, fine like, like, on the... Edge, yeah, I'm the on edge. the edge. All right, give me... You know what? Yeah, you're on the edge. Give me an athletics check to try and grab on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, you're at 120 feet down. You manage to grasp onto a uh, a bit of rock that's jutting out. You're on the side of a ravine uh, at least 100 feet down. You can't see anything below you or above you besides rock. Well, the good news is she's still under the effect of Featherfall for up to a minute. Yep. All right, I am going to start slowly climbing, and I do have rope and piton, so I'm going to be bam, 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 all the way up, and singing okay. praises to my god who, uh, my god and Serena, who, you know, has saved my life. Steph, would you say you're banging your way to the top? Uh, no! Uh, I would have right. been would have been a lot easier. Uh, I am a half elf. What oh, was that, Nabil? No, I was just gonna say Camilla sounds the type to be on top. All right, Serena. Uh I'm pretty much dead no matter what I do at this point. So I'll take my chances and just dash. I'm not even gonna disengage. Just kill. Try and seduce him. You're a bard. That's what you do. I flash my tits at him. Okay, don't do that. What do you do? Fine. Take away the fun. Okay. Seduce. Uh, don't give him a hairy palm. Uh, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm... Uh, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I have a rapier. I actually have a rapier. It's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, fucking see if I can shove it up his ass. He's facing you. He's evil. All right, you got hits. Get Efficiently Dexy. Get into a uh, chink on his hide armor. I don't like the sound of oh. that. Oh, a missing patch on his hide armor. Okay. Not a chink. Okay. Uh, six. how badly hurt does he look? Uh, he looks fairly because badly injured. May you may notice not. now that he's now that he's up in your face. You've had a second. You see. Uh, a streak of ice against his, uh, across his chest. Aha! Okay. Uh, I'm not done. I'm not done hurting this guy. Casting psychic blades. Uh, okay. This is gonna be two d six. You have less than two hit points. In the future, uh, declare that before 
Well, you ask how, he, how he's how he's looking. Uh, he should be a warforged because he cuts out so much. We can't understand him half the time. It would actually be a good oh, gimmick. I need him out. Sounds very digital. All right. So the the orc grasps his head uh, after you stab him. The, you know the stab wounds in like his gut. He grasps his head and falls to the ground. See, Serena's badass. Serena just when I'm saved a party dying. member and killed an enemy. Yeah, Serena's awesome. A She's a part of the Cool Girls Guild now. Where did the barbarian go? She left us! She left us! I'm hiding in the corner. Is that all I've done now? Uh, or... uh, no, no, it's not. The middle no. of that, that is actually two guys gold, left. So... <laughs> all right. So... Nabilia breaking up again. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I'm going to reconnect. I'm done. All right. This guy steps out. I'm going to take a shot with his longbow at... Who can he see? The orc. You need any money, Mo. Roll on. Okay. Twelve? Or no, twenty-one. Okay, I'm gonna use my deflect missiles. I'm not gonna roll it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Are you going to do, throw it back or no? Oh no, no. At this point, literally, it's gonna be catch and break. All right. They should throw the do that. These ones are aware. Elga, it is your turn. All right. Um. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. As long as I make an attack, yep, my rage an stays, roll. right? Yep. The only thing I can really do is my javelin. So I'm going to do my javelin against the guy in front of me. Okay. Click. There you go. <laughs> I can rage with the javelin, right? Otherwise, it's just... I me. don't remember. I'm checking. It's I thought we did. Melee weapon attack. It's an attack, it's with, a right. attack with a melee weapon. All right. Yeah, you don't so, get the rage bonus. All right, take whichever one then. So I'm assuming the 18 will still hit. Uh, just, yeah, the 18 will still hit. Sweet! Wait, is my I mean, rage gone now? No, your rage is not gone. Good! You just don't get the bonus damage. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Just I need to keep my rage. That's it for me. You are kind of rage you about keeping your rage. <laughs> Roll Roll angry over. All right. Kick him into the pit. Okay, oh my nope. god! Tatter spike goes wide. Yeah. I kick him. Uh, all right, you do kick. You kick. <laughs> Knocks the wind out of him for a second, but he did manage to dodge out of the way of your sword. I leave him for my elf brother from another tribe. <laughs> Lachlan, we do yeah. have to stick together ourselves. You big, you big bully! And he, you know, ignore that we 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 came into his house and uh. There's a better way to do that that I won't. Uh, Gust. Later. The gas gust. So DC twelve strength check, or be pushed back five feet. New York <laughs> slams his foot to the ground, holds his footing. So uh, that's a uh, cantrip, right? Yeah. And then I'll move back to this this spot. Okay. Right here. And done. All right. Uh, Orc is going to ignore the two people in his face. Take his axe and swing at the remaining uh, rope. He'll take the attack of opportunity. Well, oh, yes. Absolutely. Not from you, from Roland. No. He's still within five feet of you. Oh, uh, right. I do have my reaction back because it was my turn just previously. Uh, come on, Shatter Spike actually hit... There we go! Okay, so he's still out of damage. Thank you to try and break the rope and you 
devastate him as soon as he turns. He was kind of unimpressed with you, so he wasn't really paying attention. I tell you, these uh, bastard swords are not away. designed like katanas. And you kill him. Oh. All right, yeah. a second. I think we're waiting on the orcs. Yeah, something's happening behind the scenes that you guys absolutely do not know about. <laughs> yeah, it was just incredibly no quiet. So fun. I was like, did, 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 did it, you know, fail or something? This guy's dead. Son of a... ah! I tried. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to. Don't worry, you did what you could, and that's all we expect. I so didn't blow him good. Thorian. Uh, Thorian looks out over the battlefield. I don't see anyone else except for that one orc across the uh, across the ravine. Um, and. Uh, yeah, he'll just sort of move up to there, switch over to his short bow, and make an attack. All right, that will hit. Arrow flying across the chasm and impacting on this uh, this orc. I really do need a longbow. Um, he's got one. I'm sure he does. You think Thorin would touch an orcish longbow? He won't touch goblin wine. He Hell no. He won't use gnomish toilet paper, and he won't use dwarven tweezers. So there's really something serious going on here. He's dwarven tweezers are si dwarven tweezers are salad tongs. I know better. But wait, but gnome toilet paper is so nice. It just cradles your bum. I'm sorry. I'm two sorry. ply or go it, home. It is gnome two ply. It's four ply. Yeah, Please, no toilet paper. It's a bidet. bidet. It's gotta be a bidet. Okay. It makes the most sense. But it makes it so clean. Your bum's so clean, and then you use a regular toilet paper, and it's like a clean butt. I miss the days when we just played DND. Quilt it <laughs> or don't even talk to me. Oh, God, there's a lot of works here. Our characters have gotten some weird complaints uh, the later we play. All right, uh, I'm going to finish this round, I believe, and I'm going to be done for tonight. Oh, and uh, Th Thorian shouts across the chasm at the orc, back for more! And that's no, I it. think he's back for Thor! Ian? Ian. Camilla. I'm going to continue fucking climbing. All right, give me an athletics check. Well, uh, do I get advantage with pitons and uh, rope and stuff? Yes, but you'll only be able to move 15 feet a turn. Fine. You're, you're, you're honestly, I should make it take a lot longer because you're literally hammering something into stone. That's the ah, right there. Ah, there we go. I remember you have three round your three rounds into your featherfall. Okay, I will. You're fifteen feet up, so you're now hundred and five feet down. Most excellent. Or no wait, you're 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 not using the pythons, are you? Well don't the pythons help me just stay in yes, relative the pythons place? will be safer. The pay if you if you spend time setting up the pythons, it'll be safer, but it will take you significantly longer to get to the top. Is it seriously yeah. not pitons? I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, couldn't we just say, uh, my proposal is, couldn't we just say that Camilla's basically out of the fight, but she's starting to climb, but, yes, but you can yeah. just climb? Like, you uh, know, no rolls, you you're stuff. just climbing. All right. It's not an easy climb. You're climbing up a, basically a jagged cliff that was never intended to be climbed. Only my right. my faith and my god has... Save me and Serena! 
Can, and Serena. Can, uh, can I, 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 I'm the closest one to the cliff here. Can I hear this? all this hammering and climbing going on? Uh, and cursing. Lots of cursing. And cursing? Yes, you can hear this. Maybe not the okay. hammering, but definitely the cursing. Okay, so I, I listen and I'm like, okay, there's cursing. It sounds like Camilla. It's not getting softer very rapidly. How can you be okay. so calm? She fell! And Thorian just kind of gives you a, a pleasant smile and says, these things work out. What? Oh, no. And she's only like, what? 70 feet down? 105, exactly. Serena. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Because from my angle, I can just about just see the orc with a longbow. Literally written orc with a longbow. So I take my chances and dash across the bridge or leave that to Elga. Keep in mind, you see that one side of the bridge is no longer attached. Oh. Balls. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to fix this bridge before we, uh, we get everybody else to cross. It is passable, but it is very difficult. Not even very difficult. It's, it's definitely more difficult, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to shore it up. Okay, so I'll just take my chances. Um, Shut those no, doors! I'm, I'm... Other than Camilla, she's just climbing up. Shut the door? I, I busted the doors open. I don't think we can close them. You can close them, but you can no longer bar them. There you go. What if we put a weapon in the bar? Um, oh, that'd be pretty long. That wouldn't work. It wouldn't be as sturdy as the big solid piece of wood they had. You just saw okay. me throw a javelin at something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take two actions. Well, one bonus action and an action. I am going to drink a healing potion, which is a good thing I brought, which is 2d4 plus 2. That is correct. And I'm going to cast. It's an action to drink the potion, by the way. And a bonus action of healing word on myself. Okay. So I'm going to be back to full health for this one. And Get that's them healed, girl. Energy. All right. Or Kevin Seema's last arrow get caught. It's going to fire a shot at Flockland. And what? that'll end this for tonight. I'm right yeah. here, bro. What a twist. Bro, I'm right here. Yeah, I just he's, shot uh, you, pal. He's looking across the uh the chasm. He hasn't really noticed you run in yet. Uh you didn't uh hit him, but his oh, vision God. was over here. And also I forgot that you hit him. I'm insulted. I was say, gonna, I hit he him. Is he knows I'm there. You're insulted and I'm shot at. Oh, go. He is going to miss regardless. Yes, uh, but he's a terrible marksman, so don't worry about it. And that is where we're going to end for tonight. Let me go count up your casualties. <laughs> Serpentine pattern. <laughs> Serpentine pattern, London. Serpentine. It's a good thing I heal for <laughs> next time. You killed poor, poor, poor Wark and Thark. They're both dead. Not yeah, Wark but... and Thark. No, no, Thark. Remember what Thark did. Come on, to that last party. Come on. Yeah, oh, you're my right. Balls. Attackers. So Camilla is in a literal cliffhanger situation. Yes. Oh, you guys, you guys oh, no. over the course of two and a half hours, That's you funny. have managed to kill six orcs. <laughs> Hooray! We to get be like fair, ten experience. They, no, to be fair, we push forward, they fall back. We push forward, and they fall back. And plus, your your barbarian was stuck blind for the first two rounds, pretty much. You guys gain a hundred experience each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't need to do the I don't need the calculator for that. Can we just assume that I will eventually climb up? I feel like I should make you roll athletics checks each time. Like, I think so too. Are we out of see. combat though? I mean, oh, we're not quite. Someone can lower a rope for you. But no, right now you're uh, in combat. Our crane yeah, I, warforge isn't here yet. 
I, I will lower a, a, a rope to you as soon as I can see you. And, uh, you know, with dark vision, I can, I can see you. If I could see you, my rope can reach you. So uh, as soon as I could see Camilla, I will step forward and lower a rope down. All I know is I hear swearing coming from down there, so that's a good sign. So, just a quick question. If I didn't cast Featherfall, would Camilla have Perma died? Um, yeah, I think so. You would have fallen 200 feet, uh, and at the bottom of your thing, you heard water. You heard so rushing you, water. Oh, okay. please. Have lived, that, theoretically. That, at that distance, it would be like hitting concrete. It would. You would take the damage and be swept away. Theoretically. So, so here's the thing. When you actually work with concrete, and I'll leave it at that. You would have taken... Wait, what? You would have taken 71 falling damage. It is not like hitting concrete. Hitting concrete is always going to be exceptionally worse. Okay, it water. would be like hitting a a a solid s substance, though. It would, it would be like hitting the ground. Yeah, it would be like hitting the ground, and then the the surface tension would dissipate, and you would sink through. I so don't... here's the thing with hitting the ground. Oh my god! A lot of the people who survived falling out of airplanes or without uh, having parachutes, guess what they hit. Right, the but, ground. but falling a long distance into water is not like going splash off a diving board. It's like hitting the ground from that height. And because then the you water, say, yeah, even the then, it's has... not like hitting the ground. Right, but all of your limbs are broken and you're unconscious and now you're underwater. So oh, yes, you're going to die. Way it's, in that way, it's like hitting the ground. Yeah. All right, guys, I got to head out. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. See ya! Yeah. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. When yeah. I type up my right. uh, uh, D D fiction, I'll let you know. Yay! Yay! All right, everybody. I have to go walk the fish. Have a good one. Night -night. Okay, watch it. See you, everyone, tomorrow. Oh, see you, everyone, Bye. tomorrow, everyone. We will be doing Tube of Annihilation at 7.30 p.m. And I would like to thank... Everyone who came out, thank you, ZLT. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Hoshi, for uh, 1412. Uh, we are max for this game, but we might be doing pickup games in the future. Thank you, Matt Mon Gaming. Thank you. Thank you, Thal65, for watching. Thank you, Banana Namanen. Great to see you becoming a regular. Thank you, uh, Commander Root, as well. Thank you, Del uh, Decaf Smurf. Thank you, Delta Ghost. Thank you, Land Fusion. Thank you, Slow Clue. Slow Cool. Thank you, Zanky Bear. Uh, so much for coming to our little stream. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye bye. See ya. So, so Banana Nana Rana Ram's name makes me think we should do branded. Uh, um, Dances with Cobalt Banana Hammocks. Who has, Who has banana no. hammocks? I was with you. No, no, I'm turning no. off the stream right now. No. I was with you.